So first, let's start with Longo right now, a staple around here, the longest tenured player in Rays history, spending nearly 10 seasons with the team. They're really the face of the franchise there. Within the last hour, the Rays talking about the trade to the San Francisco Giants. We're going live right now to our John Sable at the Trapa. John, you're in the know. Was this surprising or do people expect this? You know, Ashley, as much as this seems like a shocker for Rays fans this afternoon, this has really been in the works for the last month or two. And really, you have to go back to the last season or two. Evan Longoria's name has been along in multiple trade rumors. But just in the last month, talks have been starting to heat up. And it's really because of his contract. The Rays were going to owe him $13.5 million for the 2018 season. And with that contract, and with the Rays trying to trim payroll, it was an easy decision for them to put that contract on the chopping block. So this is what the Rays do receive for Evan Longoria as he's now shipped out west to the San Francisco Giants. The Rays received two minor league pitchers, veteran outfielder Denard Spann and 22-year-old third baseman Christian Arroyo. Arroyo is the key player in this trade and might be the Rays' third baseman of the future. Longoria spoke to the media about two and a half hours ago on a conference call. He says he's sad to leave the Bay Area and wants to know his fans but he gave it his all, and it's really bittersweet now going to a team like the Giants. I'm saying, um, you know, goodbye not only to, you know, a fan base and to a team, but, but a lot of friends and people that, you know, there's, there's people in, um, in the organization that I've been with, uh, you know, since I felt like I was a kid. Now, coming up tonight at ABC Action News at 5 and 6, we'll hear more from Evan Longoria and from the Rays front office about this trade and to see if Evan was actually surprised by himself if this trade was actually going to go down. Reporting for the now Tampa Bay, I'm John Sable. Back to you guys. And you just heard John talking there about those players that we were getting in return for Longo, four of them, and one of them is outfielder Denard Spann. Part of that trade, he's from Tampa Catholic. He was a graduate there. Here's some pictures of him during his annual event where he helps families in need during the holidays, but he may not be staying for long. John Sable says he could be part of another deal elsewhere. 